is my attempt to build my own uh, ratchet and Paul type uh, eight position tool changer. This is just a simple representation uh, where I'm using a worm gearbox uh, that you can get it off eBay or Amazon and it is connected to a NEMA 23 stepper motor. If I'm not mistaken, it's a 57 millimeter NEMA 23 stepper motor. Okay, now this dial here is connected to the shaft of the worm gear and it indicates tool position 1 to 8. Each tool position is spaced out at 45 degrees because you have 360 degrees divided by 8 which is 45 degrees. This is the dial indicator and this is the dial and this is the indicator. So currently it's set at tool, it's pointing at tool position number 1. It's just a temporary makeshift setup. Okay now, uh, the NEMA 23 stepper motor is connected to axis A as you can see here okay of my DIY controller okay now let's see the setup okay now currently I am at tool number one it's also indicating here at tool number one let's advance to tool number two just type in T0202 okay observe when I press enter it will change to tool number two there you go okay now we are at tool number two so then let's move to tool number three t0303 observe enter tool number three I have a tool number three at the moment okay what what you say if i go ahead and jump straight to tool number eight t0808 enter okay now we have arrived at tool position number eight so the indicator here is tool number eight if i were to return to tool number one so t0101 enter okay i'm back to tool number one okay okay now say i would like to go to tool position 9 since it's designed for tool 1 to 8 there's no tool position number 9 so you see what happens t0909 see can you see the message here tool 9 not in range 1 to 8 abort and if you can see here it still indicates tool number 1 the mechanical setup still indicates tool number one as well okay so if i were to show you again say i go to tool zero six zero six so i'm currently sorry let me click here okay mdi i'm mdiing T0606. Currently, I'm tool number one. I intend to go to tool number six. Okay, so observe. Let's press enter. Okay, if you notice the rotation of the dial will rotate in a clockwise direction. And then it will reverse slightly in a counterclockwise direction and rest at the final position, which is the tool indicator. Now, the reason for this is uh, this design is a very old design. Uh, it's based of a ratchet and Paul uh, tool changing system. So it's a very simple setup, which is common with uh, other uh, small mini lathes. Uh, for example, we have the Boxford TCL125 or the uh, Denford OREC, Denford uh, Nova Turn, as well as the Denford Star Turn. And of course, the most famous is the MCO Compact 5. Uh, all these 
uh, lathes uh, have a common ratchet and pole tool turret. They either have a six position or an eight position, which is very common. Okay, so the the uh, the the function or at least the features of the uh, ratchet and pole tool turret is it will advance in a clockwise direction, and it will reverse slightly in a counterclockwise direction to position it to the right to location. Okay, now why it rotates in a counter in, in a clockwise direction? Uh, because um, my mini lathe has a forward or front tool post, so this entire representation of the uh, ATC or the tool turret will sit, will replace this quick change tool post. It will sit somewhere here, okay? But it will be on the uh, 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 x-axis, okay? So it will sit there with a with a custom made mount and uh, it will. The tools will be facing or will be pointing towards the stock. Okay, let me return it over here. Okay, so the setup uh, runs off a an M6 macro, uh, which is a custom macro, and uh, there are some minor settings for it to work. Okay, number one, we need to go to the uh, ports and pin pins uh, we need to enable a axis currently my a axis is set up on pin 8 and pin 9 for the step and direction and it's set as active flow same or at least similar to the x and z axis over here okay then once you've set this up then you need to go to motor tuning. Okay, my A axis motor tuning, these are the parameters. My um, NEMA 23 stepper driver is based off a DM556 set at 8 uh, micro steps. So, based on calculations. Uh, you can get common stepper calculations. Okay, it's uh, it's one hundred thirty three point three 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 degrees uh, per step. Okay, so the velocity I've tuned it to be nine thousand, and the acceleration eighteen hundred. Based on my setup, it can be faster or slower depending on your setup. Okay. So with all these set up correctly, finally I need to go to the general configuration. You need to ensure that you have auto tool changer selected. All the axes A, B and C are angular. You don't have to select B and C because it's unused anyway, but I just select as default. Okay, then you have, you need to set your rotational 360 degrees rollover and angular short rotation on G0. Okay, with all these settings, it should work correctly. Now, as for the tool change macro, the tool change macro is situated here in the Mark 3 turn macro, and what I this is the original. M6 start macro and this is my version of the M6 start macro okay the M6 uh, start macro I will deliberate further in the next video thank you goodbye